one of the great things fishing in the Ozarks in the fall is fall colors. I mean, you want to look around and tell me we're not in fall colors? This is amazing. We're adapting. The bass are gorging on shad. So learning from the information we got last night, we just pivoted and got a three foot casting net. Started getting some live bait, putting live bait off the end of the dock. If they're gonna sit there and eat on live bait, that's what we're gonna fish with. Just gotta pay attention to what's going on and shift. It's not spring. Can't throw every lure in the world out and get a bite. But maybe we can get a 35 pound blue cat. It's happened in this cove. It can happen again. All right, guys. We got shad wallowing around in the shallows. You can see the little fins popping up. We got to get there. We got to make a throw. Casting net, shad, this is happening. All right, guys, we're in prime position here. We don't have to get as close as we tried to the other night with the other net, dip net. We're just going to give it a cast. Missed him. Got to be a little quieter. Just practice throwing a little bit. See if we can get one out deep. Didn't even realize it. On that cast, we got us a little catfish candy. Little baby bluegill. Perfect. Right in the bucket. Give him some water. Perfect size. Ah, success. I still want a gizzard shad though. Good bait. Always a good idea to throw up towards the dock, the structure. There's fish hanging around that. Got another one. Catfish candy. We may not get the gizzard shad, but we are getting the bluegill. Perfect size. Gonna be an interesting night catfishing right out there in the channel. That's our catfish spot. Drop them straight down. We're gonna be slaying them. Cast netting success. Two bluegill right now. Perfect size. Gotta get a gizzard shad. Attempt to throw over the Bass Raider. This could be an epic fail. Not bad. Not bad at all. That's where those shad were cruising around. Oh yeah, we got another bluegill. These guys are perfect. Some of these might end up at Uncle Brandon's farm. Look at this guy. Just perfect. All right. Keeping ourselves in bait, that's for sure. Oh, I missed one. Look at this guy. Sorry, buddy. Get him out of there. Be there we go. Dropped right in. Man, we are live bait fishing like fools. Let's do it. Worst thing you can do is get some live bait and let them run out of water. So always change your water out. 
give them fresh water from time to time, especially if it's hot. Okay. Now you're good. A couple more throws just to practice. See what we can get with the casting net. Always want to have this guy on your wrist. If you throw without that, you could throw your whole net away. All right, let's see. How about one gizzard shad, just for fun? Not bad. Over the bass raider again. Man, we are slaying baby bluegill. I mean, just knocking them dead. Another perfect guy. Look at that. Just perfect size. Catfish candy. If I never get the shad, at least I can catch bluegill. Oh, come on, buddy. Out of there. Come on. I'll get you. Here's how we do this. This is why you keep hemostats on the duck. There we go. I'm almost bingo handiest tool ever always have one on your dock all right casting net success we got our standard catfish rig here octopus hook little uh, teardrop weight at the bottom I eight to ten inches from the hook dangling in the water with our live bluegill down to the weight, keeping them off the bottom. So let's get them rigged up and we'll put them out there. All right, we're rigged up. I, uh, when I live bait fish, I go through the back just behind the head. Um, you know, I don't love the fact that the fish is being hooked but it's part of fishing so you use a minnow you use other live bait worm etc these guys are fighting to not be eaten every night so he's on there on a dangling line weight at the bottom in our standard catfish spot we're gonna get it we're gonna get a monster it's time I go straight down instead of casting out. I've said this in previous videos where I got the eight and a half pound blue cat. You get a big one and the line's out there, he's going to wrap you around a rock or a tree and you're never going to get him in. So, not ruling out a bass either. Sometimes big bass will take that rig, swim off with it, but we're in. Game on. Watch that tip. Next time we see it, hopefully it's bent over, doubled over. Bingo. We're on the quest for a 35-pound blue cat. Perfect size bluegill on the line. It could be a smaller one, but it's not often that this 54-year-old man gets out here with a flashlight and gets to fishing. So let's see if we got one. The exciting part of fishing like this is you just don't know what you got. Could have nothing, could have a big fish. We'll see. I got somebody interested. <clears throat> we gotta take her. There we go. That's one. That is one. 
Yeah, if you can't get them with a casting net, go the old-fashioned way. That's a little piece of ham. And little tiny hook, split shot, bobber up the line, one in the basket. Hey, Fish the Ozarks fans, we're back at it. Got the casting net. It's a small one, but it's easy to throw. I'm going to try to get right up against these docks here. See if we can't get some bluegill. We're going to transplant them to Uncle Brandon's farm. So let's see what we can get. That's two. Two in the basket. That's a good size one. We're on our way. Let's set a goal for five. In the bucket. We're on our way to five. Here comes some nice fish size bluegill, catchable size, for Uncle Brandon's pond. Let's see if we can start getting them rapid fire. I think we got them woke up. We got somebody thinking about it, thinking about it, thinking about it, swimming around with it. Oh, overreacted. They're definitely awake now. We got some duck action going on, coming after the dog food. The ducks actually get the bluegill fired up. They compete for food. Not naturally, but when people are feeding them. It's not that funny. The Ozarks fans, it's not that bad. We're at the Hughes family compound. Here they come. We're actually releasing releasing the fish and the sheep are following us. They'll kind of lose interest, like they'll find somebody to follow. We have young helpers here to get the fish back in the water. And uh, they're going from the Lake of the Ozarks into the Brandon Pond. Sheep are getting heavily involved. We're going to get these fish in the water now. <clears throat> All right, who wants to do the bass? Come on, brother. Yeah. Uh, have you ever touched a fish before? You have? Okay. Remember we got If you're not careful, oh, yeah. it can get you a little bit. But it's not, you just have to be careful how you're holding them. So, like, like, there you go. How he's doing it. Yep, that's good. Look at the colors on the face. Yeah, pretty, isn't it? Okay, you can take him down and put him in. Don't touch the spice oven. I'm not trying to. I'm scared. I'm pulling my hands like my hands. Just give him a little toss. Yep, there you go. And he's going to do a nice swim off for you. There he goes. There he goes. Well, he's just there, but... 
Yeah. All right. There he goes, right out into the water. All right. All right. Who wants to do the next one? I don't know. She says she's she's you've touched fish before. Yeah, I just don't like. Maybe your brother can help you get them out, and then you can. I'm scared to touch the fin. Like I'm actually kind of like me. Yeah, you just have to kind of like this watch guy. what he's doing. Yep. He's touching the fins though. Yeah. Maybe it's you can just go down there with him. I don't really care. Okay, let's do this guy, the little guy. Oh. oh. The sheep's just right behind you. Like, what is he doing? Hey, 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 back off. There you go. We think we he's have a sheep wrangler. Can I do the big one, Evan? Sure. <laughs> hey, you guys cool it. I don't know, they, they look a little sheepish. <laughs> yeah, it's funny, isn't it? Yeah. I'm here all week. I'm not going to do that one, Evan. He's very strong. All right, let's do the little guy. Yeah. The least violent. The least violent. Here you go. Oh, he's got something on him. Oh, no. No problem. I don't pick him up. Okay, yeah. I'm scared. I'm sorry. Just go down to the water with him, and then you can both toss him in. There you go. Hey, the rock ah. hey he's coming okay, back for his friends. All right, ready? Just One, two, three. All right. Yes. There he goes, swimming. Yep. Yep. Already happy. They'll probably go to the farthest part of the pond to try to figure out the whole situation. Yeah. Deepest water, warmest water. Yeah. Well, you're a master fish wrangler, I'll tell you that right now. There you go. Anybody want to go down and help him put it in? No, I'll go down. Okay. Here we go. Fish number three. Uncle Brandon's pond. Oh, he's barking. That's because he wants to go join his friends. Go with your friends. Oh, there you go. All right. Yeah, he's zooming. They are. There's some catfish. Hey, hey, hey. Back off. Hey. They're just trying to buzz me. All right, last fish going in. Hopefully in a year, two, there'll be hundreds of thousands of bluegill in here. Maybe not that many. That'd be too many. Okay, you ready? Yeah, let him get it down there for you. He's feisty. Come here. What are you doing? He's the big one. Yeah. He's going to be a survivor. Yep. You are a survivor. Oh, gosh. Oh, he's, oh, he's doing somersaults. Let's get him down there before my GoPro Stop dies. Stop me. Stop There you right, go. I got him. Yep. Oh, Evan, oh, don't God. touch his mouth. That's oh, what he's doing. He's finding He's finding it. Oh, gosh. Stop resisting. Well, just don't. Right, I got him. I got him. There you go. Oh, he's, he's strong. Let's do it together. This guy's strong. Alright, here it goes. No, get on there. Three, two, one. Alright, there he is. He's going to take off once he figures out he's out of the cooler. There you go. Alright. Good job, everybody. Oh, there's one of the other bluegills. Where? Yeah, they're going to scoot around and try to figure out the best place to live, where the food is. They got that place to themselves right now. Good job, guys. Wait, oh, there, is that the rock bass? Could be. It is. Cool. Happy Thanksgiving. Yeah.